Spot, we are having a look at the new LEGO Marvel Super Heroes Mighty Macros set 76064, the Mighty Macros, Spider-Man vs. the Green Goblin. Only 85 pieces, uh, it's a fairly easy to build uh, playset for the kids to put together. And you actually get as well two Mighty Macro figures. Spots already picked up, I think, two sets. I went back and picked up another, I think, four sets of these. I just absolutely love these. They're small little vehicles that kind of remind me of Mario Kart. And you get yourself some really awesome Mighty Macros, which can easily be switched and changed to regular uh, mini figures. Just a simple swapping out of the legs. Uh, the back of the package shows you what the two vehicles will look like, kind of in action poses. Spider-Man with his camera taking picture of the Green Goblin with his uh, pumpkin bomb. Other sets available as well besides Spider-Man and Green Goblin. There's also Captain America and Red Skull and Ultron and Hulk, all of which Spot will be looking at in future videos. Spot's going to take a break and get this opened up. Technically, I have already opened this up, but we're going to have a look at the two vehicles as well as the Mighty Macros in this set. Certainly, there's more heading your way, guys. Don't go anywhere. Like when we had a look at the other Mighty Macros, both Spider-Man and Green Goblin come with their own respected instruction manual. The instruction manual is extremely easy to put together. It's just simply a case of two sides. Two sides, a total of 19 steps, front to back, very easy. And once you just start building enough of these, <clears throat> like this gentleman right here. Once you start building enough of these, you kind of already know what to expect as the instructions for the vehicles are pretty much all the same. They pretty much all the same. They start with the same base bottom to it and then you just start adding different components to it. So before we have a look at that, let's have a look at the mighty macros that come with the set. First things first is the Green Goblin. The Green Goblin, interesting. In fact, Really interesting. I love all these little mighty macros. I mentioned this before as well. If you certainly don't want them as macros, you just simply pop the legs off, change it out to something of the same, hopefully of the same color. So if you have a mini figure that has the same sort of legs in purple, bingo bango, you can make yourself just a regular green goblin. I love this green goblin though. He's got a, a little goblin hat with ears. Uh, only one a single face uh, print. He only has the one. And he does also come with a pumpkin bomb. Which, I guess, really, it's it's a minifigure head. You could really use it for maybe making like a jack-o'-lantern uh, minifigure as well. Uh, I like the outfit, though. It's purple. It's very basic. It's not really much to be said for it. It's got a little... It's got, it looks like he's got like a little jack-o'-lantern belt. Which I guess that is exactly what it is. Facial expression on him is awesome. Just love it. Love these guys. So there is the Green Goblin. Let's move on to Spider-Man. I've got a camera in his hand. We can go ahead and take that out. Just like that. And once again, you've got a mini macro, which is just a short-legged version of a minifigure. One thing you probably will notice with all of these, as Spot continues to have a look at these, is that the facial expression on these is some of the best on minifigures. Some of them are a little childish, but things such as the Spider-Man, for example, I love how one eye is bigger than the other. He seems perplexed. Perhaps spider sense a tingling. Uh, normal Spider-Man minifigures may have potentially just that one eye times two, but this different expression, I love it. I'm, love it. I'm just going to find simply a case of, uh, I mean, I guess I could keep them as mighty macros, I'm going to try to see if I can find some blue legs, swap them out to get a regular Spider-Man minifigure. That's the back of him. He's a very, uh, he kind of reminds me of like the old classic Spider-Man cartoon, way, way, way back when. And of course, as like I said, he does come with his little camera. That's apparently the sound of a camera. So there are your mighty mini macros. We'll put them right there. And as they do go, they do come with their own vehicles as well. Now, the uh, Green Goblin's glider, so to speak, is still a four-wheeled vehicle. There's some jet propulsion on the side there as well, or on the back. 
I guess you could really take the uh, the wheels off if you wanted to, but it just goes again to the whole coolness of having these kind of like uh, yeah you know, like a Mario Kart style of vehicle. I just imagine like Spider Man Kart where you would just see these you know a Goblin Glider Kart and Goblin wailing the whole time. Eh, I'll get you, Spider Man. I'll get you. But uh, they all have the ability to obviously sit in their vehicle. Generally, they all stand in their vehicle. In fact, I don't think I've come across one yet uh, where it sits. And obviously the reason for that is you can't bend the legs. The legs are completely straight. So they sit very easily in their carts. There's still enough room and clearance for the Green Goblin to hold his pumpkin bomb as well. And I guess these could, you know, you can move these if you so wish as well. So there's the pumpkin glider. It doesn't really have a name necessarily. Moving along though, we have Spider-Man's cart. And I say cart, it's like again, like a helicopter cart. It's pretty cool though. It's pretty cool. It uh, it looks like something that Spider-Man would fly or drive, I suppose, being it's helicopter. You know, it has a little propeller. I guess helicopter probably isn't the first guess for a Spider-Man vehicle. Maybe something that would have had, you know, legs. Actually, you know what? The Ultron, uh, one that we're going to be having a look at, I think fits also what 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 could have been a Spider-Man vehicle too. Uh, it does have flick fire missiles, pop and uh, pop. I mean, they don't go really all that far, but at least he does have that. Uh, rolling tires. That's also to be expected. Two small tires in the front, two large tires in the back. And you can take the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, fit him inside his vehicle, helicopter, whatever you want to call it, and he's ready to go. As Spot mentioned, he's going to be looking at uh, a couple of these different sets. I just absolutely love them. I think more so for the figures. The vehicles aren't bad, though. You know, a fairly easy to build, too. They only take you probably about, I would say maybe about 15 minutes to build. Again, there's really not much to be said for them at all. Uh, they are locally, now they are currently out. I think I found these at Walmart, but you can find them at Toys R Us. Pretty much anywhere that sells Lego has these as well. And I would recommend them, just because like the, the mini figures or mini mighty macro figures are so very cool. And uh, for the price point, about $10, you get two figures, two vehicles. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Today's toy spot, we were having a look at the brand new uh, Lego. I don't, pro probably not going to be all that new, but relatively new to this guy. We were having a look at the Lego Marvel Super Heroes. This was the Mighty Macros, uh, Green Goblin, and Spider-Man. This guy right here. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have the reviews of the other Mighty Macros heading your way. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.